Pro Video Player 2 makes it easy for you to organize all your content and manage different shows. The left panel shows the library and live video playlists that are always accessible, but we can easily add a new custom playlist by going to the gear icon and adding a new playlist. We can rename this like custom list, and then we can start bringing in content. So we can go to our library and drag clips from our main library to our custom list. We can also hit the plus icon down here, and we can go grab a video from our computer and import it that way. The last way you can import media is by dragging and dropping right into Pro Video Player. To help automate this process, you can add hot folders. So we're gonna go to the gear icon, add a new hot folder. I'm gonna go to my desktop, and I have this background videos folder here, and we're gonna hit open. When we open this, it's actually going to import all of the media that's inside this folder right into Pro Video Player. So you can see it's added in all of this content, and now we can easily go and add more media in. So I'm just going to slide this over. We can take this clip, drop it into our background videos folder, and you'll see that when we go back to Pro Video Player, it automatically shows up which is really, really handy. A lot of times you'll get many playlists you're working with, so to organize those, you can go down here and we can add a new group folder. We can name this folder like Hot Folders, and then we can put any playlists we want inside of this folder. Now you can only put playlists in inside folders, you're not allowed to put media inside folders. So again, this is only for playlists, but it's a great way to organize your content. You can easily export any of these playlists to be used on another machine or in another presentation by going to File, Export Selected Playlist, or we can go to a playlist, right click on it, and say Export Playlist. It's going to ask us to name this playlist. We'll say this is our uh, small list, and we can say where we want to export this to, and we can say whether or not we want to include media, and we can hit Save. Now to import that, we'll just go back to File, Import Playlist, and on the desktop you can see we have our small list playlist. We can open this up, and you'll see that it shows up here with all of the media that it's associated with it. Finally, you can save and organize everything you're working on by using multiple shows. Shows contain all the playlists, layers, output arrangements, and targets you have saved. Basically, everything you're working on inside Pro Video Player will save with your show. So we can go to File, Save Show As. We can save this as our normal show, and we can save that to the desktop and you'll see that it's saved it and it's renamed it here in the header. But we can easily go open a new show, and when we do this, it'll ask us for a name, so we'll just call this new show. And when we open this up, it's gonna bring in all of our default media, and you'll see that our playlists aren't here anymore, but we can easily go open up a new show. So we'll go to open show, we'll go to normal show, we'll open that up. And you'll see that all of our hot folders, custom playlists, and media, everything that we were working on in our show before is ready to use.